What's good to you too? It's your boy Power Brady, you dig? Marvelous blunts in the building, you dig what I'm saying? Rocking and rolling on this beautiful Sunday. I can't even lie, I'm loving it, man. It feels good outside. The kids is out. It's a vibe out there. They on this Sunday, fall kicking off, man. Um, man, it's a blessing, man. But shout out to Marvelous Blunts, man. Like, comment, and subscribe to our page ASAP. Rocky, I'm talking about ASAP Rocky. You did. We got the content coming. We got a show later tonight up uh, for a review for Werewolf by Night. Uh, Tone got some reviews out right now. I got some mad content. I mean, we keeping it coming, man. We going right in the fall, man. But let's get right into it, man. It's unbelievable. I'm here to say <laughs> this is crazy. The first episode of She Hulk. We don't do a review, a joint review. You dig what I'm saying? The first episode of She-Ho, we don't do a joint review. It's actually good, though. And when I say it's actually good, don't even get your hopes up because still, we are far away from where we need to be because this show has been trash Guy God, beach. You dig what I'm saying? Like, straight trash. I am not rocking with she Hulk at all. It's terrible that this is the, I think this is the last episode, this is episode seven review. So it's only one more episode. So I have no com more comments on how trash this show has been, but this episode, episode seven was actually really, 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 really good. But for one reason, I'm about to get into it, you did. Shout out um, heroesandvillains.com. I got my peacemaker sweater, y'all see it, you dig what I'm saying? I see the sweater, man. Um, Peacemaker sweater, man. This was my show, man. If you're not tapped into the Peacemaker show, that show was like that. You dig what I'm saying? So I kind of figured that this was going to happen. This is a spoiler alert. I figured that, you know, this was going to be the episode that, you know, Daredevil finally shows up, in which he did. But he shows up because um, She-Hulk is actually taking a case where Lee Frog, this wild character, oh, man, I don't, I don't even care about this guy. Leapfrog his suit bound function, so she has to defend him, and then she ends up having to go against the guy who made her little wild little suits and stuff like that. Who we really haven't seen a lot of him anymore, but he had a daredevil helmet, <laughs> and um, she he, Leapfrog wants to sue him for suit malfunction, so they go to court. Man, when I tell you this, as soon as Charlie Cox, man, shout out to the daredevil Reddit. Shout out to the Daredevil fans. All of us, man, we rocking and rolling with Daredevil because I'm trying to tell you, he, Charlie Cox, Daredevil, his acting, how he came onto screen, immediately he stole the show. Daredevil literally got it the whole episode. Like, I'm talking about he made She-Hulk, even the character, better just him being there, man. Um, He's elite, man. One thing I can say... <laughs> Charlie Cox and the dude who plays uh, Kingpin, they trying to keep that Disney bag coming always because they like, nah, <laughs> we in the building. They 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 grind it out with dumb Marvel Netflix. And I'm not calling it dumb because we got Daredevil out of it, the product, but they had to go through. Look, uh, Kingpin had to go through Hawkeye. Hawkeye was great too. He did a great job in that. Uh, Charlie Cox had to go to spot through Spider Man, and y'all know I don't rock with that movie, so you know what I'm saying. He had to go through that trash, but we finally got him in some man. Dog, he acted his ass off. Oh my goodness, man! Like from beginning to end, I was like, <laughs> "This is what you do as an actor, dog." What Charlie Cox is doing, like real talk. It's sad that Jennifer Walters, all she can get is a blind nigga. <laughs> All the only type of people she can date is people like like she can't she has no game, you know what I'm saying? But man, Daredevil definitely he ain't got the crank in that joint. But they make him do what did do they made him do the walk of shame. Like, man, he should have cranked that joint out and just yeah, walk like yeah, I'm the big Daredevil out here. But him and She Hulk, they have a collab and I think this is the best part of the whole show. Um I guess Kevin Feige took the reins. I don't know what happened with change, but Daredevil saved this show from beginning to end. The action was there with Daredevil. 
even still with Daredevil in the episode, though, why was She-Hulk still not fighting, man? Like, oh my God, dog. Like, her not fighting is probably the most annoying thing of this show. You dig what I'm saying? Like, it's Hulk. You should be going crazy. You should be going dumb. It should be just so much chaos with a Hulk, at least a little bit sometimes. None at all again for real. She kind of just was just following up on what Daredevil was doing, man. And, you know, it was like a cool little episode. But like I said, without Daredevil, this episode would have been goofy straight up. This it's this show is still not good because Daredevil was in it. And that's the part that I don't want to escape. One thing it did give me was hope for where Daredevil was going. That's what that's really what it gave me hope to. Because I know now, okay, Charlie Cox is he 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 he's He's coming to the MCU. He's coming to really get his money's worth. You know what I'm saying? He getting he he really doing his job, man. So I was really impressed by uh what what, what he did with this episode, not She Hulk. So um we finally kind of get like I guess the plot of the show, the plot of the last episode with the guy when he's like took her phone information. So spoiler alert. She goes to get lawyer of the year award. This is this literally when the show started going down. As soon as their devil, as soon as their devil left the show, the show said, Yow. So she goes to get the lawyer of the year award. But they end up making all the women the uh the lawyer of the year. And then they have this little scene with with, with the with the lady, uh the it was the uh, the um uh, the black woman. And, you know, she was just like, yeah, being a woman lawyer is hard. All that. She just started doing all this extra stuff like, ma'am, ma'am, they giving y'all a war. Like, chill, calm down. Like, it don't always got to be that. So, that killed it. So, I guess whoever the Hulk King is and the people trying to go against She-Hulk, they put, like, on the screen her basically getting banged out. And that was basically the best part of the joint, for real. Like, kill. Like, that was the... That, was the best part of the show almost crashing. You know what I'm saying? It had like a good little ending, but at the end of the day, it still means nothing. And she finally hulked out and punched the TV and, and really got mad. And now everybody's seeing this bad version of her. I'm just like, bruh, she been doing good stuff for seven episodes. Why y'all getting all like, huh? You know what I'm saying? Like she literally just got exposed. She held it the wrong way, most definitely, but... Um, she could have just waited till somebody turn it out. She didn't have to do all that extra stuff. But I guess the Hulk came out of her. Um, they definitely need to just get her to be a part of stuff. Like how Daredevil is. Like put her in Daredevil. Something like that. Because I was not. I'm not feeling she go by herself. But this episode definitely. Um, it was way better, man. No lies. It was way better, man. I actually will finally get this episode a lighter up. You dig what I'm saying? Real talk. And I give it like a, I give it literally, literally a 7.58 out of 10. That's the highest she hold rating I've given this whole time. You dig what I'm saying? But like I said, this show is still trash. This show is still ass. You dig what I'm saying? So what did y'all think of the She-Hulk episode, episode seven? We got one episode left. So next week, show up, um, roll up. We're going to have some guests on the show. For the finale of She-Hulk, we're going to talk about it next Friday uh, night. Uh, we're going to host it. We're going to end this all, and we're going to move on to greater things for Marvelous Blunts. We got a lot coming this fall. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, stay locked in. We're going to have a lot of good stuff going on and just still just making uh, great content for y'all uh, to enjoy, man, because we love making content for y'all. And, and not to just, just not talk about this. Y'all see... <laughs> You know, I'm going to do a Funko review this week, but geeked up, for sure, for sure. Nah, I'm the king Funko collector, for real. It's deeper than you think, but <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe to Marvelous Blunts, man. If you rocking with She-Hulk, man, this episode seven, let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you're not. It's a pop, man. You did?